yes welcome to my youtube channel my name is steven som um if this is the first time for you to come across my youtube channel please do where to subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever i make a post on this youtube video i'll be showing you on how you can use your keyboard to answer youtube um cbt questions CBT is a um, computer-based test. Um, it is a software that uh, helps institution or organization to um, organize an examination for candidates who are um, who are applying or who are vying for um, a promotion or an examination. So, um, in this uh, video, I'll be showing you a short course um, on how you can answer um, CBT questions. When you enter an examination hall, I would like you to observe some things ensure that your mouse is moving and working effectively um also um, ensure that the keyboard uh, the keyboard keys are also working effectively when you enter the, uh, the the examination hall at your table under the table make sure that the wires are far off from your legs to avoid disruption uh if um if uh, peradventure your legs touch on any wires it might even um shut down the uh, desktop and this might uh, cause you a problem whenever um, you're writing your examination. Now, um, these are the keys. Uh, these are the keys used in the keyboard. We have the key A, the key S, the key D, key, the key C. The key A is used to um, 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 answer um, option A. The key B is used to answer um, option B. The key C is used to answer option C. The key D is used to choose on option D. The key P is used to um, go to the previous question. The key N is used to um, to move to the next question. The key S is used to submit and the key R is to return back to examination if you don't want to submit yes. Now I'll be using a software to um to to show you guys some things. Now this is a software. It, this is a typical um, user interface of Jump. When you enter the examination hall, by the right hand side of your screen, you see um, a button where you'll be asked um, to input your jam bridge number or your examination number um, given to you um, while you're entering the examination hall in a sleep. So you, you input um, the examination number and when you input it, you will click on the button below or by the right hand side which said get started or submit or even start examination. Now when you click on it, um, your exam starts up like this now by the right hand side of your key of your screen you will see a, a stopwatch a timer there which help you to regulate and to see um to know the time uh, left for you to answer your questions as you are answering your question also be time conscious and be watching your time because if your time elapses your examination will be submitted automatically by itself now also you might need a calculator to answer your question now look at the top left hand side of your screen you see a calculator it helps you to solve problems in economics physics mathematics or chemistry or even any other calculated subject now whenever you are done with the keyboard you can just click on um the x button at the right at the top right hand side of your um of your um calculator now some some people might want to like this is english mathematics physics and biology uh, some people might want um to answer uh, biology first any subject you want to answer first you are free to click on the subject when you click on the subject the, the questions on that subject come first but do not forget there is a problem here do not forget that whenever you are starting from the last question to answer be very very careful because when you reach on the last question which is question 10 and when you're clicking on n for next it means to submit your examination a dialogue like this will, will, will come up do not click yes when you are fully away that you started your examination from the last question given to you so you have to click on no and go back to your physics or mathematics or english depending on the subject you registered for what are, what am i trying to say you can answer mat you, you can answer the mathematics question first before your english question but whenever you are choosing anyone to answer first make sure you attempt all the subjects to avoid you making mistake in the examination i would have suggested that you answer them from the subject that was kept accordingly now let's let me bring up my keyboard and show you on how you can use the keyboard to answer the question now this is uh um question number one it says he was appointed specifically to put the recruits through now if option b is my answer i'll just tap on 
B on my keyboard and option B will be highlighted now I'll go to the next next uh, question by clicking on next of uh, key N now if um you have rethink and they knew that the answer for question one is not option b rather option d you just click on p key p on your key previous a for option a b for option b c for option c d for option d e for option e and when you're done with the examination you can click on s when you click on s it means to submit and a dialogue will come up like this to ask you ask you are you sure you want to submit the examination if you're sure you will click on option y or option s but if you are not sure you will click on option r to return back to the question now let me take you back to the explanation class now as i said option a option a is used to choose option a, the key A is used to choose option A, key B is used to choose option B, key C is used to choose option C, key D is for option D, key P is to go to the previous question, key N is to go to the next question, then key S, this means submit. You will use this when you are done with the examination. If you still have enough time, make sure you cross check your work before submitting. When you press on option uh, on button S, to submit the exam another box will ask you to confirm that you are ready to end the test what do i mean by another box this is what i mean by another box it will ask you are you sure you want to submit your exam if you're sure you click on option y and the examination will be submitted but if you're not sure you click on option r or you click on no to return back to the question I wish you all success in your examination please do not forget to subscribe to my youtube channel if if you find this video helpful you can also like share and turn on the no bell notification to get notified whenever i post a video my name is steven somtochigo